Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Wednesday, April 24th, 2024. And in this video, we're going to quick take a quick look at Dr. Phil, who uh, you might know from having been a, a frequent uh, co-host on the Oprah Winfrey show years ago. He uh, is a man who has been quite successful in <laughs> financially, and uh, despite some uh, rather interesting twists and turns in his life, I'll go over a couple of things in my compilation that you can uh, see what I'm talking about, okay? And uh, let's take a look at him. I say that because recently he has been making some statements that make me wonder, did Dr. Phil take a red pill? Let's find out. I'm going to take you first to my compilation. It's by no means comprehensive. Uh, just a little heads up today. I've got to show you how to na navigate to one of the links because the um, platform that it's on seems to be playing some games with it. So I'll show you how to, to get to the item I'm talking about. Okay. And here we go. Let's get to that share screen. Okay. Dr. Phil is uh, uh, now um, behind a, a media group that seems to be offering family-friendly entertainment and um, unbiased news reporting, or that's their claim. Anyway, so let's take a look here at Dr. Phil, because recently he, was, uh, he did a two-hour episode with Joe Rogan, and I have the link for it here. This link works fine. It will take you to it. If you have two hours to listen to these two gentlemen, go for it. Okay, but I try to give you some sources that are a little less lengthy. Now, this first one talks about Dr. Phil's background, okay, and some of the issues he's had in his professional and even in his personal life. It's interesting to note that he was at one time, I guess he still is, legitimately a Dr. Phil, but he is not a practicing psychiatrist because of some... Um, Let's just say he he voluntarily gave up his license in the early 2000s, and he is now listed and classified as an entertainer. However, as an entertainer, he does sometimes has always offered some um, common sense um, dialogue, even on the Oprah Winfrey show. Here's what one Anon observed. I was always skeptical of him because of the Oprah connection, but one thing he has always done is strongly warn people not to become involved with Child Protective Services or the state. He always said they are not on your side and their ideas of protection may differ from yours as a parent and many children become lost to the system. Okay, and uh, that Anon gave us the link here for that um, announcement. One Anon summed it up nicely. <laughs> for for him, Dr. Phil is not based until he rolls over on Oprah. And we know he needs to denounce her publicly is what they're talking about. Okay, now here is the link that's weird, and I'll show you how to navigate through it. This is a 23-minute compilation of recent times when Dr. Phil has made some red pill type of statements. When you click on this link, and I'll do that right now, all of a sudden you get this with 404, not found. All you have to do is go up here, see the dot MP4. We are going to delete it. Now it looks like, it looks like the, uh, the link you originally clicked on. So I don't know what that shenanigans was about extending it and then saying it couldn't be found. It can, as long as you take everything out that shows up after .mp4. Now, Dan Bongino wasn't speaking specifically about Dr. Phil, but his comment really, really made sense to me. When the guy next to you is shooting in the right direction, let him keep shooting. <laughs> So in other words, stop worrying about why he's doing what he's doing. If he's speaking truth and that truth speaks to people, especially those that are just starting to wake up or get red pilled, great. I agree.
Now, the consensus in the Anon communities that I've been looking at that we're discussing, Dr. Phil, seem to be of the opinion that the most likely explanation for this change of heart, this uh, speaking red pill type truths now, uh, is probably because he's looking for some uh, leniency or uh, some special favors. Uh, and I think that's quite likely. Okay, <laughs> please send me here, not there. <laughs> please let me have meat, not bug protein, whatever. Okay, I think that is probably quite likely that reason. We do know that there is a, a spa that opened up last year that was specifically for those in the entertainment and um, news field. And since then, we've seen a number of voices start speaking some, um, to some it's rather startling, some red pill type truths. And let's see what's going on. We're going to... I'm going to phrase this. I wish, oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to go on a rabbit trail here, but I've told you in previous videos, sometimes I, I do a three card draw with when I'm starting to work with the cards. And it's simple. It's not the question that'll be on the video. It's, are you ready to work with me on this topic? And I wish I could have just kept it to the three cards I got. Um, I'm not going to say what they were, but let's see what shows up in this read because apparently the man is having some um, interesting things happen in his life. So our question is going to be, the person seen in the public eye as Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil McGraw, has been making some common sense and red pill type comments. And we are wondering if we could have some insights or information about what spurred that on and just about the man in general again the man seen in the public eye as dr phil let's find out okay we'd love to know what's causing this uh, uptick in logical sensible <laughs> information and even information that seems to be of the red pill conservative variety from dr the person seen in the public eye as Dr. Phil. Let's see what's going on. Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> the sun. Strength, three out of three major arcana so far. The Empress, um, no, pardon me, I think of her as an Empress, but she's not the Empress. The Nine of Pentacles, High Priestess, another major arcana, another major arcana. Whoa, this is even better than the three card read I did. The Chariot, and Page of Pentacles. Okay, let's talk about what these cards are telling us about Dr. Phil. First of all, no indication that he is anything but the original Dr. Phil at this point. I wanted to kind of cover that with how I phrased the question so that the universe would know. We didn't want to know about one that's maybe gone, but the one that is the entertainer, 71 years old, you know, blah, blah, blah. The one that's seen in the public eye. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Now, this isn't a political read, but things are changing for the gentleman. And in a personal read, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going from dark to light. The Wheel of Fortune can go from light to dark. So I think there's been some sort of a epiphany for him. And uh, he is coming out. I don't know that it's all that sincere. Um, I'm seeing that he's still got some secrets and some things he definitely doesn't want to have uh, uh, made public. The uh, So, but his, he, he knows the way the tide is turning. He knows that nothing can stop what is coming. Um, so he has decided to join the light to uh, um, help out. Now, in the recent past, we had the strength card showing up and with this situation. And he just kind of, he knew that this was the uh, going red pill was what was going to make things favorable and make this, uh, the movement of the Wheel of Fortune be as um, positively impactful as possible. Now, I say that the gentleman's still got some secrets. We're looking into the future here, the near future. And the high priestess is known for um, having secrets that either are going to be available soon or um, just depends on, they may stay veiled depending on the actions of those that are trying to 
uh, perceive it. The chariot shows up, one of the younger um, energy, very energetic card, often thought to be the younger um, version of the emperor. And uh, definitely when moves are going on. So I think just based with this, I think what he's trying to do is secure some good lodging, if you know what I mean. The, the move is inevitable. Uh, there's nothing can stop what is coming. So he what he's looking for is some um, better accommodations. <laughs> okay, now <clears throat> it, it's viewed as a worthwhile effort. Both what he's doing, he is providing value because again, for those that we call normies or are you know beloved normies, there he may be a voice and a face they can trust as they step out into realms of truth instead of programming. So um, yeah, he's doing this. He's got some very selfish motives. This man has is narcissistic and um, selfish anyway. Uh, he's always been about Dr. Phil and making Dr. Phil um, <laughs> as wealthy as possible. Uh, but I, I don't know that he's, these cards are indicating that he is, he has personally done harm, but he didn't speak out about it. And that failure to provide protection and to speak out a truth, even against someone powerful and rich, um, there, there's consequences for that. Okay. The universe is telling us that there is some more information. Again, it's indicated here. And now with the four of swords, we're getting another one uh, indication that there's some information that's just not being shared with us at this time. Okay. The, uh, um, Cards are pretty clear on that one. Oh, he may be a version 2.0 or CGI generated or what have you. This card typically, um, when we're asking about someone in the public eye, this is one of the my strongest cards. It says 2.0, 2.0, 2.0. .0. So if any of you watching this have some information or have noticed a change in his um, earlobes, <laughs> share it with me, okay? Hmm, interesting. Now, another thing to see here, too, is we're looking at the near future. And as we look at the near future, these last four cards are getting less and less impactful. So in the near future, what it may be that it's a near future thing that we're going to be seeing a Dr. Phil 2.0. OK, there's no guarantee that if it showed up anywhere in the uh, uh, read that that's what it would be. It's pretty firmly in the near future. So he may be getting ready to... Uh, take that move <laughs> and hoping for some decent accommodations. And at that point, a 2.0 will take over. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands showing up for, and the Nine of Cups. Okay. What I see here, just as we're ending things with the read with the Knight of Cups, um, he is willing to do whatever it takes. Okay. And Dr. Phil is pretty satisfied with uh, how things are shaken out. He thinks he's kind of gotten himself out of a tight spot and into one that's less tight. So, but again, it doesn't matter if it's sincere or it's been prompted or what have you, as, you know, was observed by Dan Mongino, if he's shooting in the right direction, don't stop him. Okay. He's speaking truth and people are listening and that's what's important. Let's recap. Dr. Phil, whom some of you may know from the doctor, uh, from the Oprah Winfrey show when it was on, um, and he's also uh, got a media outlet now of his own. He's been making some very um, conservative type comments and kind of like he's had these red pill moments. And he's sharing that information with those who listen to him. His uh, media company is also um, trying to do family-friendly entertainment and present, or at least they're saying they are, I haven't viewed it myself to, to judge, um, unbiased um, current events reporting. So that was interesting to hear. I'll check it out. Um, but because of his, you know, statements of recent times, we wonder what was behind that. Now, in my compilation, I shared with you a an article that kind of lists some of the allegations and... Um, things that have happened in his life. We did cover the topic that he is now considered an entertainer, not a psychiatrist. And uh, 
then we just ask the cards, what's going on? Why is he doing this? Now, what we got is, is seeming to be more and more common is uh, things were changing for the man. Wheel of Fortune was turning, okay? And he wanted to end up on the right side of things or at least improve his situation as much as possible. Now, the near future for him showed us that uh, there's still some secrets he's hoping don't come to light. There's some information that's not available to us. And there's information also he is not making available to maybe people that should know. So if you're a white hat that was part of the team that decided to let him uh, help with some red pilling, you might want to look a little deeper into things that he is not being candid and open about. And so things are moving for him and he's got to move in his near future. And he's trying to make that one as um, agreeable as possible. He's seeing what he does is a very worthwhile effort. Now, looking ahead, interesting cards. This is near future. This card often shows up for me when there's going to be a 2.0 version or there is a 2.0 version of someone out there. So, I, and this was in the near future placement. So at some point, the original 1.0, Dr. Phil, is going to have that move to new accommodations. And uh, at that point, he's going to be um, a 2.0, it looks like. And that could be CGI representation, someone in a mask, body doubles. It could be a number of factors and ways that they do that. But uh, yeah, his time 1.0 at large is, looks like it's coming to an end. Now, White Hat's view, what he's doing is very worthwhile. He will be compensated for it. And he's happy with how things are going right now. Very happy um, that he has... You know, at least in his final days and hours, he's uh, coming down on the right side of things. But as one and onset, until he rolls on Oprah, and I know, I know, we know she's been probably dealt with, you know, in, in tribunals and, and in secret, but until he publicly denounces her for what she is and was, um, they're reserving some approval. So let's give value to the man. He is providing a valuable service. He is being compensated for it, and that is to help rip help people have them make some logical, sensible connections between events and facts. And great. So I wish him well in that endeavor. But am I going to jump on the Dr. Phil train and be a fan? No, I'm just going to give credit where credit is due and acknowledge that there's times and ways he speaks very well and in ways that I do agree with. But that doesn't mean blanket approval. And that should be how we view everybody. Because seriously, folks, are you going to love... 100% of something you hear someone say, even your nearest and dearest, occasionally is going to have make a statement you disagree with, and that's good. It means we're listening maybe with an open heart, but also with a discerning mind, and that is valuable to do in all situations and with all information, including mine. <laughs> hey, if what I say doesn't pass the sniff test for you, set it aside. You may come back to it later. I have faith. <laughs> That's it for this video. I thank you so much for your time and your attention and for being a part of the information I share because I get lots of valuable information coming my way from you folks and I do appreciate it. I can't always respond to all of it, but sometimes it uh, answers a mystery for me and uh, or gives me something, hey, I'm going to follow this out a little farther, see where it goes. So thank you if you've been one of those that has done that. I may not have thanked you personally, so I'm sorry if collective thank you is all you get, but do know it is appreciated. So until next time, if you'd like to receive it, I send you love, light, and wish for you everything bright. Bye.